Hey, welcome back. This is episode 20 of Clear BNB. We're rebuilding a vacation rental marketplace. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about sending a notification to the guest when they book so we can confirm and a notification to the host when they receive a booking so that they know that somebody's coming. And we're gonna use the noticed jam today from Chris Oliver uh, to wire up all of these notifications. So let's jump in and get started. First, we're gonna add the notice gem to our bundle using bundle add noticed. That's gonna install the dependency. And right after that, we wanna call rails g noticed colon model. That's gonna generate this new model called a notification. And the notification is going to include this um, migration that will have like a polymorphic association back to some recipient to which we're sending this uh, notification. We'll say Rails DB migrate. That's going to migrate the database and create that notifications table in the database. Now we need to add the has many notifications as recipient to the user model um, because that is who is going to receive these notifications. And then we also need to generate notifications. So we're going to say Rails G noticed notification, and we need some kind of notification. So in this case, we will probably call it like host. Um, reservation booked notification. I know that's super long, but uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna call one of them. And then the other one we'll call the guest. Guest reservation book notification. We need two because the recipient can't be two different people for the same notification if we're gonna use a different mailer or like a different view for the mailer. And we wanna send a little bit different messaging. The guest is gonna be like, you're confirmed. And the host is gonna say, someone booked and here's when they're coming and here's their information, etc. So let's open up the host notification first and the delivery methods here, we're gonna use the database. We're also gonna use a mailer. In this case, we're gonna create a new mailer called the reservation mailer. And the method is gonna be um, the host booked. And if we look over in the documentation for the noticed gem, you'll find that there is a section about all the different delivery methods down here. So under the email section, it talks about how you can specify which method on the mailer to use. In this case, we're gonna use that host booked method. And in the case of the guest, it's gonna be very similar. We're gonna use these two, and then we're gonna use the reservation mailer. And the method is gonna be uh, guest booked. Now the reservation mailer doesn't exist yet, so let's ge generate that. So Ra Rails G mailer reservation mailer. And I think, I don't know, can we say host booked and guest booked? Is it smart enough to know that it needs those views? Ah, fantastic. Okay, so it created the, um, the view templates for us. So that is awesome. Let's jump into the host booked one and edit that. So it's going to be like, you know, uh, you got like a new, uh, new reservation and then we should probably pass down some information about the reservation so we'll say reservation.guest.email um, booked your property uh, and then we'll put in like at reservation.listing.title so they might have multiple properties and then we're gonna say like I don't know like um, when they're coming probably so we'll say like uh, at reservation dot uh, start date um, to end date, and that should be that should be good. Uh, okay, let's go work on the guest booked notification. It's actually going to be somewhat similar. I don't know, like uh, booking confirmed, and then we'll say like uh, you're all set to stay. You're all set to stay at um, the reservation.listing.title um, and then again uh, we'll just like copy the reservation start and end dates and that's probably a good start so if we go over to the um, guest uh, guest reservation book notification <laughs> so this is when we send this we're going to call guest reservation book notification with and then we're going to pass in a reservation so we want to require that the reservation param is there. We also want to do the same thing for the uh, host reservation, uh, booked notification, reservation. And what that does is make sure that when we're in our reservation mailer in here, we have the at reservation available in params. So we're going to copy that for the host booked and the guest booked. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mail to, in the case of the host booking, yeah, reservation.host.email, thank you, GitHub Copilot. And then also when we mail to, we're gonna say at reservation guest email, you are, maybe like your reservation is confirmed. Um, uh, okay, so that's like a really good start. Let's, uh, let's see if we can mess around with this for a second. Um, okay, we'll come back over here and try host reservation notification. And actually like, let's update this to say uh, reservation, just so we keep the documentation in sync um, with what we're actually doing here. Uh, and then, yeah, let's copy, let's copy that uh, so that we can actually send it. So from the Rails console, uh, let's reload it so we have our new notice gem and the reservation that we're gonna send is, we'll just say like reservation.last, reservation.last, and because it's the host, whoops, reservation.last.deliver um, is going to be user.first. I think the user, the first user was the host. Boom, look at that. Because we're using letter opener, we get this browser window that opens up and it tells us this guest booked your property, blah, 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 from this date to this date. I think, I don't know, is that the right, is that the right guest? Uh, host booked reservation.guest.email. Yeah, sure, okay. Uh, and then let's do the same thing, but for the guest. All right, you're all set to stay at blah, blah, blah from that date to that date. Awesome. Okay, this is fantastic. So now we're using the notice gem. We can also see like notification.all. And now we have like a host reservation book notification and a guest reservation book notification. This makes it really nice because then we can go build like these really beautiful, like sort of news feed style things about what's happening on that specific reservation. Um, and yeah, so this is, using the, the notice gem to send notifications when we receive bookings. Um, oh, right, now we need to wire it up to the webhook handler. So over here, I'm already using the Stripe CLI to listen for webhook events. That's a direct connection between Stripe and my local machine. When events fire on my Stripe account, they're delivered here. And so if I open up the webhook handler, um, or the webhook controller, we can sort of follow this down. So we are performing the jobs in the background using this event job situation. And if the source of the webhook is from Stripe, then we call handle Stripe. And we pass that down into um, this handle Stripe function where we sort of switch on all the different types. Now, if the checkout session is completed, this is where the reservation is actually booked. So we wanna say something like guest reservation booked notific. Actually, yeah, let me just copy from over here, the one that we already used. So yeah, that's good and that'll give us something to work with. Uh, okay, so the reservation we're passing is reservation. That's the one that we found based on the checkout session ID that was on the, um, on the reservation object. When we create the reservation object and redirect to checkout, we store that checkout session ID so that we can look it up later. And then when we're delivering, we actually wanna deliver later and we're gonna deliver to reservation dot, um, I think it's reservation dot host, right? And then we wanna change this one to guest. And in this case, we're gonna deliver it to the guest. And all right, so what do we wanna do? We wanna go through the entire checkout flow. So let's go to the listings and pick a property. We're gonna say reserve. And we'll pick some dates here, maybe the 21st to the 23rd. And we'll say reserve. All right, we're redirected to Stripe checkout. Let's enter some card details, uh, 424242, and then, um, I don't know, some date in the future, any random CVC, guest, and, okay, let's book for $6.25, $2.33 a night. I don't, faker and random numbers decided on really low prices for these, <laughs> for these reservations. Look at that, okay, two brand new emails were sent right after we checked out, and so this is our like booking confirmation. Um, so we received uh, something here that says uh, booking confirmed. We also received something here that says there is a new reservation. Perfect. At this point, we're able to notify the guest and the host when new reservations happen by email. In the next video, we'll talk about how to send messages between guests and hosts as they can like talk about the reservation. They can say, what's the Wi-Fi password? And 
Is there going to be a, you know, a, a pack and play when we arrive? And do you allow dogs? And do you have a hot tub? And things like that. So you can go back and forth. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. Also, I think we might also use the notice gem for that. And maybe we'll talk about receiving email in a future episode. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your time and attention. If you're enjoying this episode, please give me a subscribe, a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, all those good things. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later. See you in the next episode.